This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news, okay? And I hope you guys are having a great day today. All right, so first off, we will start with T-Pain. This is 2000, well, the past couple years, but especially this year's godfather to hip-hop. Because most of these young rappers are using auto-tune. And this is their godfather right here. He he made it popular. He got everybody on auto-tune. And just when you thought it was over, when Jay-Z dropped DOA, Death of Auto-Tune, it came back bigger than ever. Now you have people like Little Dirk. I think Trippy Red uses it. I think everybody really uses it, you know? And they have to acknowledge their godfather. <laughs> T-Pain. <laughs> Next up, we got Takashi. Disrespecting. He shouldn't... He, he needs to go away for a while again. You know how he, like, takes those little hiatuses for, like, six months? He He's there. He's at that point. He's desperately trying to continue a beef with Meek Mill. And that's kind of ship has sailed. He already embarrassed Meek Mill. And Meek Mill has been instructed to never respond anymore. Just let it go away. But he was engaging for a while. And that kept it going. Uh, then, you know, you get him going, trying to bait Dirk into stuff. And this person, he's doing the King Von stuff. He's doing anything to get posted. And it's it's getting a little... Bleh. <laughs> it's like, okay, enough, bro. Disappear for a while. And that's it. Now... He takes it to another level with a nip comment. He says, to all you loyal rap fans, just remember your favorite rapper, only gangster in the studio. They don't get locked up for anything gangsta. And just remember, just because you snitch doesn't mean you're soft. Then he said, you see what happened to your boy nip. The truth hurts. What happened in that situation was a coward came after Nip. Someone who couldn't someone who couldn't realize their own truth. He was so injured by his own truth that he went and got a weapon and did something to a good guy. And for Takashi to compare that He's going for shock value, but he's going too far. He's been going too far. Now, I, I don't feel so... When he do, does the King Bond thing, he's playing in that Chicago playground, and they all do that to each other. When FBG Duck died, you get you got little dark making comments. I don't think King Bond made so many comments because I think he was he used to be friends with FBG Duck. Back in the day. But Little Dirk would make comments. And they always make fun of... Um, you know, there's so many different... They just make fun of uh, so many... Tuka. They go Tuka. It's, it's like... It's beyond disrespectful what they do in Chicago. And I love Chicago. But doing that is just like... It's a little... Cra it's crazy, man. It's like... You guys are playing with death at that point, you know, and it's just, it's not tasteful. Um, yeah, Takashi went way too far with the whole Nipsey thing, and it's disgusting. And he's just gotta stop, man. And then he'll say, oh no, but Nipsey talked about me. Well, he didn't agree with you, but he didn't go back and forth with you. I don't know. People don't, people aren't always gonna like you. People say things about me all the time. I just, I don't respond. What's the point? I'm, I'm, like, I'm a man. I'm not going to go back and forth with somebody. I did that in my 20s. It gets you nowhere. That person already feels how they feel. You feel how you feel. Why go back and forth? Move on with your life. Life is too short to go back and forth with people. The only time you go... I love this. You know, you, you've heard this one. The only time you should go back and forth is in ping pong. Any kind of form of tennis. You go back and forth. There's no point in arguing with people. It's wasted energy. And we talk about that a lot on this channel. 
can't waste your energy. Now, T.I. and Tiny, they're trying to, they're trying to do them like, you know, Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby. They're trying to get them out of here. Now, I don't wish this on anybody. You know, but if they deserve it, they deserve it. But what's happening to T.I. right now is there's a lot of accusations against him. And there's not, we haven't seen like concrete evidence. And you got to remain in the middle on these things until it goes to court. Because right now we're just being bombarded. I think like a total of 12 people. I, don't, I, I, I keep seeing like six more people come forward. Two more people come forward. Like it's just adding up. It's at a point now where it's not just one or two people. It's like 10 people, you know. And I don't know if he's going to be able to come out of this. Now, yeah, T.I.'s done his canceling in the past. He's done his judging on people. He's been a bully. <laughs> he has. He used to use certain people to do his uh, bullying for him. But he's also a family man. Uh, he does good in the com- good things for the community. He uplifts certain people. And he does do good things. Okay, there's good and bad to everybody, even myself. So maybe this is maybe this is something where, you know, a storm's coming through. Maybe I don't know why, you know, and maybe he brought it on himself. You know, we all do that sometimes. Sometimes you start a fight with the wrong people or you're rude to the wrong person or you're mean to the wrong person. Sometimes it comes back to you. It seems like that Sabrina woman kind of started, you know, which was a friend of the family, started off the whole thing. So what I said, what I'm saying this for is learn from this, pick your battles, treat others how you want to be treated, because sometimes it could bring on a storm. I try never to be even customer service people. (laughs) Think about it. Those people have all your information. I try not to be mean to those people, because if you're dealing with a credit card company or something and you're arguing with them about a charge on your card or something. And you take it out on that person, that person's working. A, it's a job to them. They're not American Express. They have all your personal information right there. What if you piss that person off and they took your personal information? I mean, that's pretty vulnerable information. So I try to be nice to as many people as possible, even when I'm mad. Because you never know. You know, you could blow off some steam on that one person. That's just someone who's on the phone all day. That's a hard enough job as it is. So they're trying to get T.I. out of here. And they're getting a lot of headway. I'm going to be honest with you. We'll have to see what happens. I don't know, man. I'm just keeping you guys up to date. But it's not little sites posting this. Like, it's not... And by no means, Shade Room's not little. But, like, these are, like, CNN... New York Times. You know, these are things of institutions that have been around for, you know, 20, 40 years. Then you get big ones like Vulture that have been around since like 15 years ago. You know, and like, uh, it's, this is a stain that never comes away. You start losing sponsors and everything. It's just, it's not a good situation. So... Even if uh, this is going to cost them millions of dollars to defend themselves, millions of dollars in PR, uh, and it's going to cost them a lot of sponsors. I mean, I could already imagine they're losing all their sponsorships. This is just too big. And I imagine he'll never take the podium to speak for Atlanta with the mayor. Again, um, yeah, th- this is a stain that doesn't get removed, but we'll have to see what happens. You got to remain in the middle on this because you don't know if he's wrong or right. We don't know. We don't know. But anyways, and you got to remain the same with the victims. 
This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Let's just take this. Protect your energy today. Don't let anybody take your energy away from you. I saw a great quote today. It said, you wouldn't let thieves in your house. Why would you let people try to, why would you let these people get into your mind and try to steal your joy? I like that a lot. Protect your energy. Keep negative things away from you because you know what? It just eats away at you and it takes your confidence away. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tell with JT News. I appreciate you guys. And I will check you guys on the next video. Peace.